Welcome to King's Row. The spotlights you see in the background are to spot all those dirty Omnics and take them out. <laughs> flying around yeah. at night. That's right. Well, you, there, there's got to be flying Omnics. I mean, if you were an Omnic, wouldn't you do, like, the Iron Man thing and fly around with, like, uh, rockets? I like, totally would. That would be that would be me. I mean, Zenyatta <laughs> floats, right? <laughs> Global fans. Yeah. And they wish our Korean players a happy birthday as well. All right. Toby so zipping out of the subway tunnels now. Lunatic High will be on defense first. Eska back on the soldier. And right. Typical 2-2-2 two, two, two that we so frequently see from Lunatic High. Who are you is the, oh, there's hey. what do you know? us and the management from Misfits. That guy's got some good aim. <laughs> well, he had good aim today, but unfortunately not enough to pull out that win. Yeah. But at least he's going to playoffs, so. Had good aim, <laughs> but not a good game. <laughs> Okay, so emotes now in the game as we can see on the uh, tournament server. And, and spray and his what is signature that? spray. Ah uh, yes. The signature Tavik spray. <laughs> scary though. Alright, Tavik swapping off on the Hanzo now for the early Sonic Arrow. Going over to the McCree. Oh, that's very interesting actually. Maybe he's anticipating the tracer? Uh possible. I mean it's also good against who are you on the Genji. Sure. Oh There's that's a, a nice pick. Oh yeah, good to get Zimb out of the way early on. Misfit's gonna try to capitalize on this, yeah. He's just hunting him down, <laughs> nice kill. Misfit suddenly on fire here, and this could be, this will probably be a very quick point day take. And Toby just waiting up there, doing the damage again. He's gonna have to run. They got Miro as well. And I believe they killed J-Home throughout that. That is about as fast as you can take point day, isn't it? Uh, pretty much, they just walked up, got the crucial pick yeah. on Zumba, who must have been too far forward, and that's all she wrote, making it look very easy. Man. Tavik walking forward and dying on the McCree, but they're just creating space right now so that they will have some room to move the payload after it slowly rolls out of the garage. But this is going to be a sneaky tack visor from upper halls. He's old, but sneaky. He's, seen he's, so he's old and crafty. Now he's going to wait. We've seen so this actually is. from Kongdu. Very yeah. similar style of play. All right, just going to fire some shots, I guess, uh, a little bit too late. Oh, tack visor being used, and... Okay, that's not how you actually play that. No. So how you play that, no. how you play that, though, is you stop the cart on the turn, uh -huh. and yep. you attack. <laughs> that's what Kongdu did. Now, that's if right. you do it that way, then the cart just keeps rolling around the corner, and you don't have any targets for your tack visor. Well, so that was, rather, that was a rather pathetic flank. Uh, what could have turned out really well and uh, being kind of sad. There was an attempt. <laughs> Uh, that's what we got out of that. Meanwhile, Misfits just rolls through to point B here. Gonna have to win a pretty big fight here. There's the Graviton Surge. It's gonna take high. Tries to come back, but they lose a lot of people to the Graviton Surge and the follow-up from Misfits. And they're almost there, man. There's Hook on the Zumba. A little bit more. Eska with the Nano Boost on him. Gonna try on to finish top it off. Of the oh, he can't quite last long enough. Actually gets the kill, but oh, Vanda Hammer takes him out in kind. Tavik. Rolling back into the subway right now. Oh, gets the spray down. Crucial. Yeah. He marks this territory as his own. Needed, man. So Misfits had that about one meter away from taking point B, but finally Lunatic Eye stalls him out, gets a little bit of time to regroup. Zumba had the counter Graviton, and they made the most out of that, but the commitment was pretty big from Lunatic High, and Misfits coming in with a substantial old advantage and another nano boost nearly up. That's right, reinforce. Oh, another big Earth Shatter comes through. There's the ultimate. Who are you? Pushed back. Makes a bit of damage. I think they got a shield on there. Lunatic High pops the sound barrier to just try to keep Misfits from winning this point here. Meanwhile, Tavik with the dead eye. We'll see if he gets an opportunity. He takes out Jay Hong, and that's going to be plenty for them to take point B. No word for Jay Hong to go, but that's what you expect when the Misfits have that kind of ult advantage in the start of a fight. Reinforce got 60% of an Earth Shatter back just by swinging away during that sound barrier. So yeah, that happens. Uh, not too bad. You could really snowball those Reinhardt ults. If you have that opportunity, Tavik is too far forward and uh, peeks out from behind that shield and pays for it quite quickly. He's done that a couple times this map already. Sometimes you get the kills, you just get really excited. And then uh, you realize that uh, McCree doesn't actually have a lot of help. It's interesting to see who are you flip over to the Roadhog now because we've seen so very little of his hero pool for any length of time beyond that Genji. Yeah, we got a little bit of Roadhog, a little bit of Pharah last match. 
They're just going to be content to push Misfits back for the moment with that whole hog. Just trying to gain more space. Not expecting to get any kills there, just trying to push them back. Yeah, who are you used the, with the whole hog usage, though? Sacrifices and ults, and now this is going to have a lot of value. That is a Graviton Hog, Goodbye. along with the Nano Hog. The Nano oh. Graviton Hog. Misfits going to get a lot of pushing done now as soon as they take down Toby, and they do that. So here comes the payload. What insane value they got out of that. They destroyed Eskel while he was using the attack visor also. Great combination there from Misfits. It's desperation time. Definitely, as Manitens is lurking, lurking, waiting for the hook. Nicely done. Wow, perfect. Miro already so low, they can get him easily. And now, Lunatic Kai exposed without that Reinhardt shield. Everybody piling onto the payload, trying to stop Misfits from getting it there. It's going to be tough, though. Toby looking for the boobs, not finding him. Oh, he gets the sound Toby barrier off, two. though. He got two kills with his right click. So, Crazy. wow. Crazy. They actually hold on to this just Hero barely. Lucio. Hero Point Lucio. Nine, five another meters one. as the boop on the Manitens will finish things off. It's a good day to be Lucio in Apex, isn't it? It really is. Toby, man, he is such a clutch player. We've seen him at the end of Anubis, the only one left alive on the point. When you really need him to stall, he almost always delivers. Yeah. Now, we've seen him do this before. That is, that is very true. Now, now Bisfits in a much worse position. Reinforced in a pretty bad position himself. He was really far forward. Lost a lot of health on that Reinhardt shield. Simba has the ult, CC combo with the uh -oh. first shatter can't come through. Pushing right. him back, shatter oh, first. Boy. Now they're not even gonna need the Graviton Surge here. Yeah. yeah. That was smart, really good patience from Zumba. Yep. Not committing to the Graviton once he saw that the Earth Shatter landed, realizing they were gonna be able to kill that Reinhardt quickly. Well, Some solid focus fire. Who are you back on the Genji and already with the Dragon Blade? Yeah, you know, Lunatic High you know, really struggled in the first two stages, but they've finally gotten themselves a good hold. They've been uh, able to hold off Misfits pretty effectively here on point C. We saw some time, but everybody is heading towards an apocalyptic five to six ult battle right now. There we go, Ultimate's coming in. Lunatic High looking for the big bang. Eska can't quite get the kills with it as Misfits did drop the sound barrier. Vic gets a kill on Who Are You, that's pretty crucial. Without that Genji, they're in trouble. Zebesai coming in with the nano boosted Zarya. He's got the Graviton Surge as well. He can keep people locked away from the point if he needs to to handle respawns. With the Biotic Grenade, though. Have to be careful, Lunatic Eye is still trying to disrupt the backline. There's Esta, or es Eska, rather. Who Are You with the Dragon Blade gets a kill on it to Vic. Nevix falls as well. Crucial picks for Who Are You. If he had not gotten those kills right there, he would have looked like a fool for using that Dragon Blade when they were so far behind. Yep. They had already committed early in the fight to a lot of ultimates that were ineffective. The Pulse Bomb didn't work out. The Big Bang combo with the Graviton Surge because they plunged it directly into a sound barrier. But yeah. man, who are you saving their skins on what was looking like an overwhelming victory for Misfits? But Misfits, Not they, ults. they only use Sound Barrier, so they've got another chance. Uh, Graviton Hog again. Sound Barrier is going through for both teams right now. Manitins pushing everybody back, but who are you getting two kills already? <laughs> Manitins gets a bit of revenge. He's so low, though, has to hide. I don't think they can push this one. No, Lunatic High gonna end up ahead in this fight, and with only 30 seconds left, Misfits in big trouble. Everybody big over the trouble. edge again. Yeah, they, they realize they have to reset fast. Yeah. Well, they have Electric Cowboy. That's all they've got. Will yeah. they use it with the Deadeye to try and zone them off the payload? Are they gonna try and Nano Boost reinforce so that he has a chance here to build up to a quick shatter? Yeah. Toby switching over to the Bastion, and here comes the cheese. That's right. He, got it. he has to be where he can like actually shoot people. He didn't though. switch That's his spray. <laughs> oh, well, they should be disqualified right there. Yeah, just firing away that Reinhardt shield. To pick. Oh, he's hit. He's hit with the sleep dart when he gets a nano boost. Tragic for Misfits. How do they win a fight now? The answer is, I don't know, because they probably can't. Tevik gets a kill, and who are you, though? They're fighting back. Maybe, just maybe, they can scrap their way to a win on this one, but no. Not with Eska, not with that attack visor coming out. A definitive fight. Overtime has begun, and Misfits left with no real way to push this payload. And that is the end of the tournament for Misfits. They will not be going to playoffs. Well, we have to see the attack first. Oh, yeah, that's true. Whoa, I got ahead of myself there, but <laughs> yeah. Man. It was an exciting push. They exciting. did get within one meter, but this, that play at the end there, because that was the last hope. 
that Misfits had. It was a good read by Lunatic High. Jae Hong hits the clutch sleep dart right before the Zarya shield can yeah. hit the cowboy. He was lying on the ground with the Zarya shield on him. So not only did you nullify the the, the dead eye, you nullified the nano boost, and you nullified the projectile barrier from Zarya. Great value for a single sleep dart from Jae Hong, and just that's one of those split second plays that you can get that entirely shuts you down. But Lunatic High, good at knowing which ultimates are up. They know they knew what the play was coming in from Misfits, and they were very quick to react on it. Hadn't seen Dead Eye in a long time. Jae Hong had his sights set on Tavik from the start of that play. That's right. So now we do flip, and uh, Misfits with a chance here. Yeah, it's one meter. It was 0.95 meters away from the end yeah. for Misfits. So for all intents and purposes, it will have to be a three-point take for Lunatic High. So still a chance. A fairly good chance, actually. Vic back on the McCree yep. for the I love defense. this push. <laughs> now see if he can take out the likes of who are you early, who are you seeming like he wants to go for the Farah. Yep, Sava just... Hanging out, listening for footsteps, trying to Lu gather some intel. Lucio Sonar, alive and well, of course. He's trying to see what's going on up there. Oops, Aww. couldn't quite make it up. Close. All right, Jae Hong on the Zenyatta now, too. And we may see Eska, yeah, on the May. They do like running the May on offense on this map, so not too surprising to see that there. And who are you on the Farah? You know, again, the two heroes he played beyond Genji were Farah and Roadhog in the last match. Wasn't much, but it was a bit. Reinforce out further than most Reinhardts that we would see, especially. Hey man, it's a reinforce. lot of rockets in the line of sight. Eska bouncing around the side right here. No opportunities for a good wall quite yet. Eska's a pretty amazing May player. Mick is getting hit by a lot of these rockets. Oh. Uh, well, all right, they got to pick out the Manitans. Hit with that rocket, Misfits in a little bit of trouble. Eska has to go ice block, nearly taken out by Tavik. After being hit by that flashbang, one more on Who Are You? Tavik gets it. That Farah did not last long. Now he's trying to chase down the Zenyatta. There's a headshot. He knew he landed that flashbang. Jae Hong not lasting. He's got to be a monster, though. Zumba's low, but he can't get that close. That's right. The respawns are so slow here from this point, but Zebesai manages to get back there with the nano boost. Oh, they man. will actually hold. Wow. Only one tick taken on the control meter, too. I'm a little bit surprised. Tavik saved that so hard yeah. by getting rid of the healing and the Farah so they could retake the point. Uh, Zunba also unable to play aggressively, and he wasn't going to commit to getting within range of the May or the Reinhardt. Gets Eska on the May as well, so huge counterplay from Tavik in order to hold this just barely. Oh, Jae Hong keeping an eye out for Tavik. Yeah, you can see, he saw Tavik on the high ground, immediately put the Orb of Harmony onto the Farah. Meanwhile, Tavik does go down. There's a barrage. This one's going to be a bit easier for Lunatic High now. Three kills for Who Are You? If you ask him if he can play characters of the Genji, well, there you go. <laughs> I like the little salute at the end, too. Who are you? Yeah. Finally. <laughs> and this kid is young, too. He's like 15 or 16 or something like that. Already such a talent in this game. We have a lot of very young, very skilled players yeah. in Korea. It's always been the way with esports. A lot of players will start their careers at 15 or 16 and then proceed from there. Yeah, the, uh, the god of StarCraft, Flash, won his first tournament at 15. Yeah, Baker won at 16. Yeah. So, not unusual at all. Sure enough. Lunatic High. Pushing forward. Took him a little bit longer than it took Misfits to take that point, eh? Sneaky. Flank with the Blizzard. Yep. Wow, gonna drop the Blizzard right away. Ooh, barely gets into the ice block in time. Where's the follow up? Okay, that, that looks was a bit awkward. <laughs> It's like awkward. People were not quite ready for that on his seat, uh -oh. but they will be ready for this Earth Shatter. Oh, man. There's a follow up, and man, Lutikai just crushes Misfits in this fight. I like Tavik stepping up there and just like eliminating who are you, ignoring <laughs> everybody on the ground, killing him around. He's got him. a job. He's got a <laughs> He's job. Like, I did my job. His job is to kill the fairy. Yeah, that's right. When everyone's dead, you're like, well, guys, I, I did my part. It's actually okay. Lunatic High used a lot of ults on that bush. Misfits riding up at six now, so they should be able to stall out here in streets for another minute or two, yeah. as long as nothing goes terribly wrong for them. Who are you going to switch over to the Genji for the last phase of this map? All right, well, there's a transcendence immediately after the ult train begins. Still, though, the Deadeye does take down Zumba. Manitins gets a pick on the Who Are You. Electric Cowboy coming in. 
doing more damage and just trying to push Lunatic High back. And it looks like they'll be able to hold that payload for now. And Transcendence is great and all, but it doesn't actually help people not die to Deadeye. That is true. That's so you just burst them straight through that. It's good against a lot of things, but Deadeye... <laughs> well, actually, I mean, what you can do is you can do it and you can run right in front of the McCree and block the shots. Yes. You can do that, but when you're in the Graviton Surge, your options are limited. Uh, bad times. <laughs> yeah. Right, who are you... Coming from up top one more time. Misfits pretty conservative on their ults. Still with three remaining, still having that advantage. Yep. After <laughs> Lutzik, I did botch a lot of their ult economy. Genji's not reflecting and he just does the animation. It just looks like he's rapidly waving it. It's like, hey, I'm Genji. Ooh, here we go. Bigger Shatter comes in. Sound barrier for Lunatic High, though. Sound barrier for Misfits as well. Everybody trying to stay safe. There's Reinforce with another charge coming in. Manitons with the whole hog. And it looks like they'll be able to hold the payload again for the moment. Who are you coming back with a couple kills, though? Yeah, he is. Uh oh, Sleep dart on the Manitans trouble. as this cart creeps yep. forward. This bit's lost a lot. And now Lunatic High back in control of the ult wars and certainly going to send it into the foundry phase, considering they have the Blizzard and the yeah. Graviton Surge. They won that long grinding fight. All right, Tivik on the Farah now, so mixing it up once again. Yep. Uh, no long-range damage besides the Ana yep. for Lunatic High. I like the pick. Reinforce charge in. There's a Graviton search for Lunatic High. Who are you going to try to capitalize oh with the Dragon my. Blade? Zipnik gets a couple as well. Oh, goodbye, Nevix. And Misfits is in huge trouble here. Zipnik's on the run. Can he actually make it around this corner? Yes, going to get oh! Yoda. So close. So close, but chasing him all the way back. He will regroup with his team. This is really going to come down to the last meter here, Doa, we are I mean, approaching point three, and there's still two minutes and a half left. Yeah, Aska comes in with the blizzard, and that gold square represents Misfits' future in this tournament. If the payload gets there, it's over. Tavik with the kills, though. Tavik nano boosted to pick a few up, has to worry about that Zarya beam. Yeah. Dodges back in, gets out of range, and pops his way back over to the payload. And they'll hold for the moment, anyway. They do have, yeah, they're going to uh, force a reset for Miro. A little bit of time bought. Two minutes remaining for Lunatic High to win this map. And nice going it. underneath. Yeah. Back around. To be safe. Okay, so let's take stock of this situation a little bit. Tavik nearly up at that barrage. They have the combo, combo with the, the Graviton Surge. Yep. Lunatic High nearly there with the sound barrier. They might want to wait for that. Eska now onto the McBree. Wow, that's a lobbed in Graviton Surge, but Tivik right there with the Reflect. Barrage. Who are you? Reflects it into him, Reflect though. Reflect onto the Barrage. He got one kill before it got reflected into him, though. Big Earth Shatter comes in, oh. and Lunatic High crushes the end of that he fight. He didn't even see who are you coming. They no. knew where the Pharah was, and he pops oh, up boy. over the ledge, and now it's do or die time. Right. 1.7 meters for Misfits in this tournament. Oh, that's good. No kill. Oh, now he gets one onto Nevix. This is big, man. The payload nearly there. It's going to make it. And Lunatic High going to the playoffs, and they have knocked Misfits out. And not only going to that playoffs in first place, they can lose the rest of the maps. They can lose this series, and they will still be in first place. Yeah. So that's it. Unfortunately, the Swedish dreams are over here at Apex Season 2, and Lunatic High will keep on rolling.